In the last few months, there was a mini crypto gaming bull run where almost all gaming related projects saw 10 15x gains on average and just gave us a hint of what we can expect from crypto gaming coins when we go into full bull mode. There was a lot of hype around AVAX and AVAX gaming, and that's mainly because some big influencers caused it. And when looking for another good layer one project that can be a good host for the gaming space, we can see that Solana made an absolutely spectacular run in 2023, making almost 16x from its bottom to this local top at the end of the year, it's not very hard to spot that all underlying projects on this blockchain will likely see massive run too. That's why in this video I will show you the top 5 crypto gaming coins that are built on Solana and have an insane upside potential for the upcoming bull market. But before I dive into all this, I just want to quickly mention that nothing in this video should be considered financial advice and I'm personally short term bearish on the market because this rally can last only so long before we see a decent correction to around 30 or $25,000 Bitcoin. The price just doesn't go for a good few years up only and there should be a few significant corrections along the way. So the point that I'm trying to make is that the market caps of the projects I'm going to show you in this video will likely go down from here and you could get in in a much lower prices. But anyway, I'll show you the price levels of each project that I'm looking to potentially buy so you'll have a good targets in mind. The first Solana crypto gaming project that I'll show you is called Decimated. Decimated is a third person survival NFT game that is set in an open world that embraces a dystopian cyberpunk aesthetic. The game is developed using Unreal Engine 5 and is set in a persistent dystopian cyberpunk universe. Players can salvage resources and technology, gather digital currency, build bases and shelters, hunt through and loot different environments. In this game, all players start as a human citizen, but they can choose to be cyber cop as they progress. Players are able to fight against each other or team up so they can capture territories or hunt creatures. There are many different roles that players can choose from, like hacker, medic, mercenary, criminal, cargo transporter, taxi driver and many more and their role is determined by the clothing they wear. Players can use weapons, grenades, jetpacks and vehicles and their characters will level up as a result of gaining experience through quests and boss encounters. The game features a city with a market, merchants and NPCs where players can role play and it also has a big desert area with different events and biomes to explore. The game doesn't require NFTs to play and it will be available on a free to play basis so anyone will be able to play without any entry barriers. NFTs are there to add an extra layer of convenience and perks to players. For example, apartments come with extra perks like higher staking rewards, faster health restoration, storage for items, clothing and vehicles, personalization of personal space and reselling at future market value. So you know that the more players they attract, the higher the price will go. The token for this project was launched back in 2019 and we can see it had a rough start but it managed to do more than 700x for about 2 years. This looks like a few days on the chart but they probably don't have the data to display the price performance. So when you look at the date between these two price points, you can see that the bottom here is on the 2nd of January 2020 and the top is on December 29th 2021. The coin recently pumped around 20x when there was a lot of hype around crypto gaming but now it's been consolidating for a while and it might go higher but it might also go lower. The market cap of this coin is 20 million dollars at the time of writing the script for this video and I personally personally will be looking at these levels for potential entries and the third one will be probably the best price you could ever get and it's very unlikely we will touch that level but of course you never know. The next project on the list is Aurori. Aurori is not a single game but a gaming studio instead that is building a universe of interoperable web3 games. Two original IPs were born from this universe which are actively shaping the future of the Aurori player experience. The first one is Aurorians, a collection of 10,000 anime style NFT characters that are playable avatars with various in-game perks. The second is NFTs. These magical creatures have been designed as NFTs with a unique set of stats that influence their performance in-game. They serve as companions on each player's journey and can be hatched, traded, collected and used in battles. Aurori currently hosts two playable games which continue to evolve in a live ops development format. The first one is Seekers of Tokain, a JRPG where players embark on a dangerous roguelike adventure through the world of Tokain collecting and battling fierce nefties in epic turn-based combat. And second one is Aurori Tactics, a PvP timeline-based battling game where players must learn how to best use their nefty creatures abilities, competing against opponents to rise to the top of the leaderboard for rewards and glory. I think there is a lot of potential in this project and I like that they have a specific Japanese anime style because they are not targeting everyone and therefore competing with every single game out there but they target a specific group of people. In 
terms of market cap and token performance, the current market cap is around $20 million on this project as well, but it hasn't seen any good rally yet. They launched their token literally at the end of the last bull market and we couldn't see this coin's true potential. In terms of good buying zones, I would consider these two. And of course, the second one would be just great if we ever reach it. The third project on the list is Legends of Illumia. Legends of Illumia is an MMORPG game where players can immerse themselves in exciting gameplay zones, engage in multiplayer adventures, quests and fierce player battles with in-game enemies and against other players. Illumia is a city that surrounds the Infinite Tower, which serves as the social club of the game where players can interact with each other, fight for rewards, buy equipment and pick up new quests. The Infinite Tower's portals are where players go to compete PvE content and progress through the game. Players can also mint items found within the game and bring them out of the Infinite Tower into the real world. Future plans include expanding the city with various buildings such as houses, shops, blacksmiths and potion vendors. In PvE or players versus environment, players explore dangerous worlds and dungeons filled with enemies, loot and resources. They can team up with other players to tackle challenging bosses and complete quests. By doing so, they gain experience, levels and powerful items to upgrade their characters and equipment. Players can also join player guilds, which offer additional benefits and challenges, and create their own virtual communities. On the other hand, PvP or player versus player allows players to compete against each other in duels, team battles and various battle modes. The arena is where players can participate in team battles, hone their skills and compete with other players in esports tournaments. When players begin their journey, they are given a set of skills and attributes that are based on traditional MMO archetypes such as tanks, healers and damage dealers, as well as new skills that are specific for the Illumia lore. The items in the game have varying levels of rarity and players can also upgrade their equipment during gameplay to increase their combat power. This includes weapons and in future updates, battle pets. So this sounds like an interesting game to me. It looks pretty good from what we can see so far, but you know, with these projects, they all look cool and all, but if they don't deliver what they promise, you won't see any gains. So it's important to keep an eye on stuff like development updates, community interaction, roadmap completion and so on, so you don't get stuck on a project that has a several million dollars market cap, but does only a couple of X's in a full bull mode. The token for this project is called Illumia Crowns and its current market cap is around 10 million dollars. The token was launched during the bear market and it saw basically down only price action so far. However, recently got a very decent pump and it made like 18 necks from its local lows and it rewarded the big believers and long term investors of this project. In terms of good potential levels to get in, I personally expect a pullback to around the 1 cent mark, so this is my first level of interest. And if we are lucky and of course it depends on the macro and what will happen in the next couple of months in the world overall, we might get to around the half cent mark which would be the ideal entry for this project and of course my second level of interest. So if we manage to get a pullback to these levels, I think this is a chance not worth missing. The fourth project on the list is Star Atlas. Star Atlas is a space exploration themed RPG game where the action takes place in the year 2620 with political factions, territorial pursuit, high tech weaponry and spacecraft enriching different aspects of the gameplay. The game allows players to earn Atlas tokens while playing, which can be used to buy in-game items such as weapons, ships, land and mining equipment. These items will be of course NFTs, so the players will have full ownership and they can do whatever they want with them. This game is built on Unreal Engine 5 and you can probably tell by the insane graphics, but they are also building a metaverse, which was a huge buzz in the previous bull market. And of course with metaverse comes land ownership as well, but they actually created a very interesting concept of incentivizing players to work on their land instead of flipping it for profit with something called land value tax. Players can also buy and sell land, collect taxes or use land as collateral for loans. So I personally think this game has a lot of potential because it has a unique genre which automatically means not a lot of competition. They are taking their time and looks like they are building the stuff the right way. Their token is called Atlas and they've been around for quite some time now. So it's definitely not some pump and dump project and you can see their valuation during the previous bull run. And keep in mind that they launched their token right around the end of the bull. So they could have gone much higher than that. The current market cap is around $75 million, but I expect it to drop by 25 or 45% in the coming months. So the first level of interest for me is this level at around 35 to 40 cents, which in my opinion is almost guaranteed that we will go back to. And if we are unable to hold that level of support, the next potential level I'll be looking to buy is at 25 to 30 cents. Of course, we might never get to this one and we might drop even lower than that. But I think it's good to focus on these 
too for now and pay very close attention. And the last Solana gaming coin on our list is Honeyland. Honeyland is a mobile first blockchain strategy game where players assume the role of a beekeeper to manage their colony of bees and lands. Players can choose a universe to explore and send their bees on missions to compete against other players for NFTs and their token HXD. As players earn HXD and NFTs, they can use these to grow and strengthen their colony of bees, purchase more land, participate in the Honeyland economy or convert them into cryptocurrencies. The Honeyland game is the entry point into the Honeyverse, a metaverse that allows developers to leverage the Honeyland players, assets and economy to create games, experiences, places and things for players to interact with and enjoy. Honestly, many people believe that the first blockchain game that will break through and see massive success will be a mobile game. Because most people have smartphones and the amount of time they spend on them is just ridiculous. And looking at this one, I'm asking myself why not that could be this game. I'm obviously not a big gamer and I'm not an expert in this field. But one thing is for sure, even if I was an expert, I couldn't say with 100% certainty which game exactly would pop. So I think this one has a lot of potential and their coin went through the roof recently. You can see this massive spike making around 20x in a very short amount of time and that gives us a hint of what we can expect when we enter the bull phase. The current market cap is around 30 million dollars and the token is less than a year old. So it will be one of those new shiny objects that people like to invest in every cycle. In terms of price levels to look at for potential entries, I'll personally look for this 10 cent area for a small entry and if we break the support, the next level of interest for me is around 5 6 cents. Again, this doesn't mean this can't dip further or even shoot straight up if we find support at 10 cents. But that's my general idea and that's why you don't make one entry aiming to buy the bottom but you DCA into multiple levels so you're prepared for the bullish scenario and the bearish scenario. You can watch my other videos if you like my content and don't forget to subscribe. Bye for now.